Starting with JavaScript as a beginner is really confusing. So today we're gonna show you guys how to create a JavaScript file and then link that file to your HTML page. This is simply my live server and then over here is Visual Studio Code. Don't worry about all this. This is just everything that is creating what you see on this side. Next, what you wanna do is go ahead and right click create a new folder and what we're going to title this is we're going to title it javascript like so then once you create that go ahead and click on it now create new file and we're going to call our file scripts.js go ahead and hit enter now you have your javascript file created there's nothing going on in here and again we're going to get into how to actually write javascript on this channel later on so stay tuned for that but what we want to do now is go back to our h HTML page and then right here I have JavaScript commented out so this is where we're gonna add our JavaScript file and connect that file to our HTML page first you need to create a script element and this element does need to have a closing tag at the end here like so now go back into the opening portion of your script element here just like that and then now here's where we want to type SRC and then actually link to our JavaScript file and here we want to simply type in our JavaScript folder name then slash and then scripts.js is going to be our actual JavaScript file. Go ahead and click on that. And then this next step is going to be essential. If you don't do this last step, your whole website will be completely messed up. What you need to do with JavaScript is actually go ahead and type defer. And all this is going to do is actually defer any of your JavaScript from running until your HTML is loaded. And this is essential in web development to ensure that your JavaScript doesn't interfere with your actual HTML. There is an older method to do this. You can actually link to your JavaScript file all the way at the bottom of your HTML page. But the industry standard and the most common way nowadays is to simply add it in your head element up here and add the defer tag right here like that and now if we go ahead and save that our JavaScript file is now linked to our HTML page obviously nothing is happening on the live server over here but we will get to that point where we're actually writing loops and other things like creating variables and maybe possibly recursion to actually change things on our HTML web page over here let me know if you guys have any questions today I know JavaScript can be really really confusing especially if you're a beginner reach out to us through this video or go to our website at kalmanwebdesign.com and we will help you out free of charge.